Okay, case number six, bilateral free and saddle. So that's the first thing we do, as you know, is to hash out the missing teeth. Lower right, we have no molars. So we're not gonna replace the eights, but we're still gonna shade out the area because the denture base is gonna go back as far as the retromolar pad. So no molars. On the other side, we have a missing five as well. No second premolar, so the saddle's a bit longer. So hash out the missing teeth. So it looks like a free end saddle on the design sheet. We're now going to draw in the saddle. So make the saddle nice and big, nice and obvious. Lingually it's all acrylic. Same on this side. Okay. We need some support. So on this side we have two premolars, so we're going to utilise both the premolar teeth. Rest on the distal of the four, mesal of the five. On the other side, We've only got one premolar, one occlusal surface, so we're going to use the four. I'm going to build up a cingulum rest seat in composite and the canine. Now we've got support, you need some retention. So we're going to do gingerly approaching clasp because they're single rooted teeth. We can do a half T shape here so it's less visible, just as effective, and the same on this side. So these clasp arms are going to be a minimum 13 millimetres long, which is fine. And we need to reciprocate. Clinical crown height is very good on both these premolar teeth, so there's no reason why we can't do arms to keep it gingerly free. Now we're going to bring an arm around here, and that will link both those rests to the denture base. I'm going to bring an arm around here, which will then also link there. So we've got arm reciprocation for those two teeth. Now we just need to join it up now to make the denture base rigid. So we bring a lingual bar all the way around. which is rigid, non-flexible. Okay, so there we have your major connector and lingual bar. Now the biggest issue you've got here, Kennedy class one lowers are probably the least worn dents you can make for anybody because they move. So you can see we've got plenty of depth for lingual bar, so it's not an issue, but we have the issue of anti-rotation, indirect retention. So you've created a fulcrum axis by clasping those two canines, so two premotors, so we've got Rotation, anti-rotation is an issue, so we've got rotational issues around that line. So for maximum efficiency, we need to bisect the, the line and where the line crosses rigid teeth, we need support. So this is how to stop the denture rotating. Now, just to do it on two teeth like that, there's a risk that you'll procline these teeth. So this is where we use the Kennedy bar and we're gonna come all the way around here to provide maximum anti-rotation. So this is a high bar, it's off the gingival margins, and it's all the way around these teeth. The problem with this is they tend to fracture if you're not careful, so you need a mid-strut. You want a span of no longer than five or six teeth. So you do a mid-strut there, which means the span is fairly short there and fairly short there, no more than four teeth. That way, the denture base will transmit the load to the indirect retainer and stop the denture flexing and the patient's more likely to wear it. So that is design number five, six.